Hey everyone, today we're going to build a simple homemade electric motor using nothing more than some copper wire, a wooden base, a few magnets, and an aluminum soda can. Yes, even something as ordinary as a Pepsi can can become the rotor of a working motor. We'll start with the electromagnet. Take thin insulated copper wire and wind it tightly around an empty thread spool. Go layer by layer, keeping the winding even. This coil will act as our electromagnet once current flows through it. Mount the coil securely onto a wooden base. Drive a screw through the center of the spool so that the screw acts as a core. This will boost the magnetic field strength, just like an iron core in a real electromagnet. Now let's build the rotor. Take an empty aluminum soda can. I'm using one from Pepsi, but any will work. Mark the can so it's divided into four equal sections around its circumference. At the center of each section, attach a strong neodymium magnet. Make sure all four magnets face outward with the same pole. This alignment is important for the motor to run. Next, drill small holes in the exact center of the top and bottom of the can. Insert a knitting needle through these holes. This will be the axle of the motor. To hold the axle in place, build two simple wooden stands and mount them onto the wooden base. Place the can with the axle into these stands so it can spin freely. Now we need a control system to switch the coil on and off at the right moment. On the axle, mount a small square piece of wood. The corners of the square should line up with the magnets on the can. This is crucial. This square will act like a camshaft lobe in a car engine, controlling the timing of the motor. Next, create a simple breaker switch from copper wire. Bend the wire so that it's spring-loaded, able to make and break contact as the wooden square turns with the axle. When one corner of the square pushes against the contact, the circuit closes, sending current into the coil. When the corner passes, the circuit opens, the coil shuts off, and the cycle repeats. This switching is what makes the motor run. Now connect the coil to the breaker. One side of the coil goes directly to the power source. The other side goes through the breaker contacts. Time for the test run. Connect the setup to a 9-volt battery, or for more power, use a 12-volt drill battery. As soon as you connect the power, the can starts to spin. Um, the magnets on the rotor interact with the coil's magnetic field, and the breaker keeps switching the current at just the right time. What you end up with is a fully functional, homemade electric motor built from an ordinary aluminum soda can. This build is not just fun, it's a hands-on lesson in electromagnetism, motor design, and timing systems. You can experiment by changing the size of the coil, using different magnets, or adjusting the breaker tension to see how it affects speed and power. And there you go, a working DIY electric motor with a Pepsi can as the rotor. If you enjoyed this project, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments if you want to see me build a more powerful version with multiple coils. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next project.